I have absolutely no idea. As you know, when it comes to the media and being a public figure, you have more than one enemy, especially for the things I've said over the past. <laughs> so I have absolutely no doubt that there may have been some, t some sort of, of uh, ill intention. But again, I leave that up to God. God knows exactly the type of person I am. And the people who I associate with know that too. So are you in some sense throwing Mr. Eldred Neal under the bus insofar as you are distancing yourself from some of the most um, unfortunate remarks, the most racist remarks in the whole thing, let's say? You are distancing yourself and saying that Eldred made those remarks. Are you throwing him under the bus? The only three I know in that conversation. Let Eldred answer for what Eldred say. Marvin Moore answer for him, Marvin Moore answer. But to go back to the purpose of the conversation in the very first place, yes, uh, you yes, said yes. you approached him for a specific reason. Right, right, right. Was it because you, in fact, believed that he believed these racial... Um, no, actually, actually, it, it came as a surprise to me, his, his, his comments afterwards, because we honestly thought that it was a smaller union against bigger union situation. Um, and that's, that's our premise that we approach it because we, we realized, well, the only person that we believe that would be capable and, and, and has a qualification for hold that post um, has been removed by uh, the, the PSU. So we, we approach him on that premise. But what came out of that, honestly, honestly, I'm still, right now, I'm still in shock as to what happened then. But to me, it was done because it was a private conversation between private citizens.